Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've been finishing off the weapon and armor system as well as adding a few more models into the game. So to start the week off I added support for upgrading the materials of weapons and armor. Just like with the enchanting last week I haven't yet added the actual mechanics of this into the game but for now I've added this right click option to items just so that I can demonstrate this feature. So I'll upgrade this chest plate here a few times and you can see the material going up through all the different tiers of metal. And it's not just the colour of the item that changes, the stats and the price of the item all change as you would expect as well. So this staff here for example currently has a major attack of 79, so now let's upgrade the primary material a bit and you can see the gemstone material changing here. And because it's a weapon it also has a secondary material so I can upgrade the wood in this staff a few tiers too. So now if I inspect the item you can see that it has a much higher mage attack and it's also a lot more expensive than it was before. Also this week I added the ability for enchantments to give you some extra defense stats. Certain enchants can now boost your defense against a certain combat type. So this helmet here for example with magic protection gives you a bit of defense boost against magic attacks, this enchanted helmet gives you defense against ranged attacks and this top here has some extra melee protection. And of course you can enchant an item with multiple enchantments to give you protection against all three combat types, although this does then cause the text to go outside the frame a bit which isn't great uh, but I'm working on that. On top of that I did quite a lot of work on item stats and costs in general, especially for enchanted items to make sure that they cost more than their non-enchanted versions. The more enchantments an item has the more expensive it is and the extra cost depends on multiple things such as the original cost of the item and the tier of the enchantments. So if we have a look in this shop here you can see that there's a steel and amethyst greatsword on sale for around 600k. But over here there's another greatsword made from exactly the same materials but because of the two fairly high tier enchants it ends up being almost twice the price. It would still be a lot cheaper than the next tier of greatsword though so it could be worth it. Finally this week I had a big texturing session yesterday and I was able to add a load more of the models that you guys have been making into the game. So firstly there are a few stunning new weapons this week. We've got this nice tribal longsword this beautiful spirit Zweihender and this awesome light staff with a nice particle effect. And there's also this new horned helmet which goes very nicely with the shadow armor set. There were also a few new models sent in for the new desert area as well like this dead tree here, this animal skeleton and these lovely desert huts which are going to be the start of this desert town here. So that is it for this week, sorry that there weren't quite as many new features to show off as usual but I also had to do a lot of work on the server code this week. However things should be a little bit more exciting next week because I'm going to be working on the combat system. If you want to see some updates before next week's devlog then you can of course follow the game on any of my social media pages, links are in the description below. But yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a brilliant week and I will see you all next time.